I saw this video about a week ago and thought it would be a hilarious, super cool skill to try and learn. And I was very curious to see how difficult it would actually be. The thing is, is that prior to learning this skill, I had never actually blown a single bubblegum bubble in my life. And I couldn't find any tutorials showing me how to blow the multi-layer bubblegum. So I struggled a lot. But by the end of this challenge, I did end up getting pretty good at it and will share all the tips and tricks with you at the end of this video. In the meantime, here's the story of how I went from being absolutely terrible at blowing bubblegum bubbles to getting pretty good at blowing multi-layer bubbles in about three hours. So I've never actually blown a bubblegum bubble before. So before I move on to the multi-layer bubbles, first I gotta get really good of blowing the classics. <laughs> blowing the classics. <laughs> Which I don't think is gonna be too, too difficult. Time number one. <laughs> no! That was too hard. <laughs> I brought in a mirror so I can watch what's going on with my mouth. I think this is gonna be helpful. Why is this such a problem for me? Why? That was pretty good. I'm starting to get it more consistently, but it's still pretty pathetic. I've been practicing this for almost an hour and I still can't blow a bubble well. <laughs> I wish I was faking that. <laughs> I've been practicing this for an hour and a half and I finally got it figured out, I think. Huh? Not bad. So the main difference between this point and this point is that when I first started and I was blowing the bubble gum out, I was pushing with my tongue but not removing it, so then the air didn't really have anywhere to go. What changed is that I would remove my tongue, allowing the air to move into the bubble gum. Should it have taken me an hour and a half to get to this point? Probably not, but sometimes you're good at things, sometimes you're not good at things. What really matters is do you give up? I think what I'm gonna have to do with this is blow a bubble, pinch that bubble off, and then keep enough gum in there to blow another bubble inside. I think my tongue is like actually getting sore from doing this today. This might actually be easier to do than learning how to blow a bubble itself. Crazy. That was 100% a bubble in a bubble. We can do better though. I'm trying to focus on doing something way harder. The thing that I used to think was hard is now easy. That was great. Yes. 
So how do you blow multi-layer bubble gum bubbles? This tutorial is gonna assume that you already know how to blow a single bubble. If you don't know how to do that, I linked a couple tutorials below that were really helpful to me that you should check out. As you probably noticed in the learning part of this video, it took me way longer to figure out how to blow a single bubble well than it did getting the multi-layered bubble. So if you already know how to do that, I think this should be a really quick thing for you to learn. If this guy can do it, anyone can. First, I found that two pieces of bubble gum worked best for me, just because you need a lot of gum to blow multiple bubbles. And my favorite was Bubblicious, but after some research, I found out that double bubble is probably the best way to go. I just couldn't find any. After chewing the gum for a while, try and blow as big of a bubble as possible without breaking it. Once you do that, you gotta kinda take the gum that is left in your mouth and flip it over on itself so it creates a seal and then another opportunity to blow a bubble. It'll take a few tries, but it's actually not too bad. You're basically just trying to make sure that the first bubble doesn't break while you're setting the gum up in your mouth to make another bubble. It's kind of as simple as that. It, it just takes a little bit of practice, but eventually you should be able to do it pretty consistently. I wouldn't be surprised if you already know how to do the single bubbles really well if you could figure this out in like five minutes. If you want to see me learning these skills in real time, go check me out on Instagram. I post a lot on my story about what I'm learning and a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching and remember that every day is a good day to learn something new, no matter how small. We'll see you in the next video.